guys, I'm Raydell. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be doing a what's in my hospital bag video. Baby Funk is officially due in three weeks and one day. Whoa. So I think you're technically supposed to kind of pack your pass, pack your hospital bag way sooner, but things have been crazy and I haven't felt like he's gonna come early. So luckily we're doing good. Oh, hello. He kicks so much all the time now. Okay, wow. I was just looking at my feet and they are puffy. <laughs> They're looking a little swollen. I've been on my feet a lot last week need to elevate them. Okay, first things first, I wanna show you guys my bags that I'm taking. These are all from Stony Clover. It's not the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. So you can customize like however you want basically. So this says Funk, this is a big duffel bag. And then I'm bringing this one, which is so cute in blue and then it has a diaper, a binky and a bib on it, so cute. And then I'm bringing this guy as well with three hearts. <laughs> They're so adorable. And then I'll probably bring, because I have uh, blankies that I want to bring, so I'll probably bring a small just carry-on suitcase as well to make it easy for Capron, because he's probably going to be, he's going to be carrying everything. So I'll give him like a roller to make it simple. First things first, let's talk about, oh, this. Okay, this is the first thing I'm bringing. My mom found this for me. It says, hello, I'm new here and we write his name, his height, length, date, and time. And this will be like for his hospital picture. We can, you know, take up his first picture with the sign basically. Sorry, it's hard to see because it's acrylic. And then I just got chalk markers. I got a white and a blue. I tried them both out. I can't decide which one I like better. I think I'm gonna use the white, but I'm bringing the blue just in case. And then the next thing I'm bringing is this cute cooler. It's from Mommy Made Encapsulation because I'm getting my placenta encapsulated. It has extremely uh, good health benefits and stuff. You guys can read up on it. Just Google placenta encapsulation. It just helps with a bunch of stuff. So I got two ice packs in the freezer. And so we have to grab the ice packs and this cooler and take it with us to the hospital. And then they pick up my placenta. <laughs> Sounds weird, but it's good for you. <laughs> so the next thing I'm bringing is... We're bringing two tripods <laughs> because one tripod is gonna be FaceTime. We're gonna have our moms on FaceTime because as of now, only Capering can come with me in the hospital still. A lot of things are being lifted now, so I don't know if that will change, but I have a feeling it's probably gonna stay the same. So we have this ready, and then we have another tripod. This will be for us to film uh, if we're gonna put it on our family YouTube channel, like a little montage or vlog or of the birth and all that stuff. And just for memories to have. I don't know why I'm sitting on the floor. It's so hard to get up. <laughs> These go on the tripod to hold the phones. And then we have iPhone chargers. Boom. I told me, I was like, get the longest cords ever. So we just have extremely long charging cords. As far as like toiletries go. Okay, so what I'm bringing, I'm gonna start packing as I show you guys. This bag is so cute, it matches me perfectly. Okay, so I just grabbed us some toothpaste and toothbrushes. I just um, I just bought these at Target because they, uh, I didn't have a second toothbrush and I didn't wanna be like, oh, I forgot my toothbrush, so I just got one. That's all Caper needs pretty much is toothbrush. And then I've got a uh, shampoo and conditioner, just little ones. I'm just bringing some makeup wipes. These are a cure, brilliant. Really? Brilliant, what? Brilliantly, why is that so hard to say? Brilliant, brilliantly brightening coconut cleansing tops. I've actually, I don't think I've ever tried these before, but we got those babies. Okay, we got makeup wipes. And then I'm bringing a, these are the smallest bottles I could find. This is my face wash from Coco Kind. This is Versed uh, moisturizer cream and then hand cream doo -doo. and then i'm bringing aquaphor this is just amazing for all over everything if my lips are dry i put on my lips if my nose is dry you know when your nose is dry and it burns and hurts so i put this in there and then i got a little itty bitty 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 deodorant <laughs> it's so cute and then i'm bringing um one of my favorite lotions this is from hemp's 
and it's sparkly and it smells yummy. So before I compiled all this random stuff, I asked my mom what she recommended bringing and then my cousin just had a baby back in November. So I was like, what did you bring? What did you for sure not use at all? Like, what do I need to skip, etc." And so um, my mom was like, do not forget a scrunchie. Her and I love scrunchies, especially like if I'm like sweating and giving birth, I do not want my hair down. I will like die. So I'm gonna make sure my hair is up on top of my head, nice and messy, just bam, ba bam. This is how I'm giving birth. <laughs> I'm not bringing any makeup except if I do wanna, I don't know, freshen up or make myself not look as tired. I just have a waterproof mascara and concealer. That's all I'm gonna bring. Oh, oh, and an all over um, blush stick. Where is that? It's in my purse. I'm gonna get that right now so I don't forget. And if like we're coming home and I have energy, then I wanna like look a little, a little, oh my God. <laughs> One, two, I'm just kidding, it's not that bad. <laughs> oh, an all over blush stick. Boop, cause then I can just be like cheeks, eyes, lips, and I'm done, and then a beauty blender, boom. Okay, cool, so toiletry bag is complete. Now, as far as blankets go, I'm bringing this big blanket for Capron, because he'll be like sleeping on the couch probably. My Aunt Angie just made this for us. It's, it's a big blanket, big blankie. It's for us all three to cuddle with. So I'm gonna bring this one for Capron, and then I'm gonna bring these two for the baby. A waffle blankie with silk. I love waffle blankies, or it's like a little guy. And then I'm bringing this one. This one's a little like warmer and heavier. And then I'm bringing this one for me. This is my blankie that my mamu makes me. She makes me flannels all the time. She made baby funk flannels too, a blue one and a white one. And they're my favorite. I'm so excited. We have Capron's clothes. I brought him one hat. This one says funk. One shirt that's blue. Two pairs of socks. Two pairs of undies and one pair of sweats, because we'll obviously be dressed when we go there. And so this is what he'll wear this shirt, or these sweats coming home, with probably his, where is it? I got his baby funk shirt, and I got his daddy jumper. And then for me, one thing that my cousin said that she loved was having like button up 90s, because then after giving birth, you don't have anything anything on your waistband or pinching or whatever. So I found this at TJ Maxx and it's a pretty blue and it's just a nighty, And so that nothing's on my waist or anything like that. And it says, always be kind. And it's button up so that I can nurse and stuff really easy. So I'm bringing this. I'm also, uh, the hospital has those gowns as well. So I can just wear those. I'm, I'm just gonna bring this one. And then I'm bringing nursing bras. These are not technically nursing bras but they are they are like this they i've been wearing them my pregnancy too they're really comfy but because they're like a triangle shape they like open easily so you don't have to unsnap anything to breastfeed you just like boop pop it out boobs out and then you can nurse so i'm bringing these I'm bringing three of these i have a pink one a coral one and then this like mint blue so i hear that your boobies leak a lot so i don't i'm just bringing I don't know. I have my baby funk shirt as well that I can wear coming home. I don't really know how I'm gonna be feeling on the bottom or, so I'm, I'm gonna bring these biker shorts, but I also think I'm gonna bring the sweats I'm wearing right now, just like an oversized pair of sweats to be comfy coming home. And then I can't find my mommy jumper in the move. So right now I just have the future Mrs. Funk jumper. I'm bringing slippers. Three pairs of socks for Rydelli. And then I've got, okay, not gonna lie, pretty sure I'm gonna be in a diaper the whole time, but I still brought underwear. So I have one pair of underwear and one long, but I don't think I'm gonna use <laughs> them. I might need more, I don't know. I don't know guys, I just know that the hospital is gonna have stuff if I need anything. And then I'm bringing this jumpsuit just because it's one of the comfier things that I've worn throughout my pregnancy. There's nothing tight on my waistband at all. It's it's just so comfy. So I'm gonna bring this because I could come home in this too and then put my jumper over. Then as far as the baby goes, so I have his blankies already. And then I have just a plain white onesie, which he might be bigger than this, we'll see. And then I have baby funk one so that we can all be in our baby funk coming home. I'm bringing two of them just in case 
I don't know, one gets dirty or he spits up already or something like that. And then I have these two little hats, one white, one blue, because I'm not sure which one I want to put on him. And they like tie in a knot up here. Ta-da, he's so little and so cute. And I also have this hat. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's gonna be a really cold day. It's just really cute and it has these pom-poms. I got it on Amazon. <laughs> And you'll be like a little teddy bear. So I have that. I'm going to put all that stuff in here. All the baby stuff so I can find it. And then I just sterilized his binkies. I don't know which one he's going to like. <laughs> so I'm bringing this one. I think it's like specifically for newborns. And then this one. This might be too big for him. But, but I'm just going to bring it. And then this one. This little blue one. Boop. I did it. I've been putting this off for so long. And I'm not a procrastinator. Like I'm really good at getting shiz done but i think just with the move and everything it just i haven't done it <laughs> finally had a second to sit down and do it here we are okay <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this video baby funk's gonna be here so soon he can't wait to see you all and meet you all i love you and see you in the next video Mwah!